Another thing you can do on your website that may not be obvious is to completely uninstall and remove any unused contributed modules or themes. The reasoning behind this, the more surface area it has, the greater probability there is that some sort of hacker or bot can find some vulnerability to exploit. The less things you have on there, the less of a chance that that can happen, even if it's unused. So for example, let's go to the admin toolbar module and install this on our website. And then we're gonna say we decided not to use it after all and we're gonna go through the uninstall process. So go ahead and install this on your website and come back when you're done. Once you have admin toolbar installed, make sure you enable it and complete the installation. We'll just do admin toolbar itself, click install, and then we'll say after we played around with it, for whatever reason we decided not to use it, even though it's an awesome module. Now in Drupal 8, you can't simply disable a module. You have to uninstall it completely. That's fine, we were going to do that anyway. So we're going to go to the uninstall tab here on the extend page. And here we have admin toolbar. We're going to select that and click uninstall. Once again, we'll confirm. Then if we scroll down to find this once again, or rather, let's go back to the list. So if we go back to the list, and scroll down to look for the module once again. We'll see it's still here. It has been disabled though. We've gotten the first step done. To remove this entirely, we simply need to go to our file system. And in the modules directory, we'll see all of the contributed modules we have installed. Once again, you'll see security review here, which I installed preemptively. We're gonna talk about that in another video in a minute. But here's admin toolbar. We're simply going to delete that. Now, if we go back to the extend page, refresh the page, we'll see that the admin toolbar module is all gone and our site is a little bit more secure.